What's going on guys, my name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can use a public API. So for this video we're going to be using openweathermap.org. They have a very very simple API, they have a ton of data that we can use. So if you go there and then you click API, you will see all these options right here. But the one that I want is this one, the first one, the current weather data. That's the one that I want. Okay, so click subscribe. You will see all these options. Um, the one that we're going to use is the free version, which is going to work for this video. And it works for like a personal website and stuff like that. So click on the get API key and start. So you need to sign up just like a normal website, just your email and, and password and all that stuff. And they're going to give you an API key. Um, so that way you can request all that data. So let's test the API. So let's see if it works. I have here the URL that they provide, which is this one right here. All right. So now we need to add question mark Q equals to whatever city. And you can see that I have it already there. So I live in Orlando. So it's Orlando and then and app app ID equals to whatever API key they gave you. All right. So that's mine. Don't try to use mine because it's not going to work for you. I'm going to hit enter. And here you go. So I have all the data from the current weather in Orlando, which is great. One thing that I want to do right now is because if you can see here on temperature, that's a, it's a different unit. We use a different unit. So I'm just going to put it right here after this and so it's going to be unit equals to Imperial and then and and I'm going to leave the app ID. So I'm going to hit enter again. And now we have um, whatever you use, you can um, change it. But this is what we use in the United States. Cool. Now that we have this URL ready to go, I'm just going to go to my text editor and start coding. Here I have an HTML file. The only thing I have is um, requesting jQuery was gonna we're gonna use it to request the data. We have a script um, .js which is empty, and we have a style .css is empty. We're gonna add some stuff in a minute. So let's start by adding some HTML here. So the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a container. Everything's gonna be inside that container. So it can be like weather container. Okay, and inside there we can do a paragraph and then we can add like a class of um, this can be actually, you know what, first, I'm going to add an icon, like if it's raining, if it's raining, we can do like a rain um, cloud uh, with some drops or whatever. If it's sunny, we can add, you know, a sun or something like that. So that's the icon. Let's put icon as a class. This is going to be like the name. So if it's raining, it's going to be like rain. If it's sunny, it's going to be sunny. So this is we can name it, name it. Um, I don't know, weather, whatever. You can name it whatever you want. So let's create another one. And this one uh, is going to be the temperature. Of course, temp. All right, cool. I think that's all we need for now, like if I want the weather, I just want like, you know, whatever is happening in the in the temperature and then the icon is something cool, you know, that we like to see. All right. So that's it for the HTML. I'm going to save it. And then for the JavaScript, let's go here because we have jQuery. We can use something called get JSON and get JSON is going to get all this data for us because this is JSON. This is a JSON file. So let's go back there and let's do um, dollar sign dot get JSON. Just like this. And then we're going to do 
inside here, we're gonna do the URL, comma, and then function. Sorry, function, just like that. All right, so we need to include that URL here. Let's go back and get it. Where is it? Here it is. Copy, and paste it right there. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put here inside the function, I'm gonna put um, data, all the data is gonna be inside there. So I'm, I can do something like console.log data. So I'm gonna save that and let's go back here. So this is my page right now. I'm gonna reload my page and here you go. We can see all the data, the same thing we have here. We can see it, we have it now available for us on the website. Everything is here. All right, cool. Now that that's working, let's go back. And here inside the function, we're gonna do like, um, let's create the variable of the icon. So let's do variable icon. And I have a URL that they provided for everyone to get the icon. So if we go here, let's see if they have here on weather. So you can see that um, there is a icon here and there is like a number and a letter. You don't understand how we're gonna use this in a minute. So they provided a URL for that icon. So let's see. Let's open here and let's go back. And what was the code is what 11D. Let's copy and paste it dot PNG. Look at this. So every single thing is a different thing depending on the weather. The icon is going to change and it's going to be this URL. Cool. So let's go back to my code. Let's do, oops, that's not what I want. I want the URL, which is this. And then I'm gonna do plus, and we need to add um, that um, code, which is gonna be data dot, Let's go here. Let's see. So it's data dot weather zero and then dot icon. So it's data dot weather zero. And this is because it's an array. It's a list. You can see that we have, oops, quit. We have um, zero one and it's an array. So we need to do a square bracket zero and then dot icon. That's it. Now we're going to have, if we call icon, we're going to have this and then whatever code it is. And actually I need to add the PNG file. So the PNG format. So let's go plus sign and dot PNG. Now that's going to work. There you go. So now let me call the icon and see if it works. Console.log icon. All right, let's go back. Let's reload this page. Here it is. Let's click on it and that's it. We have the icon. All right. So let's go back here. So that's working. Let's remove console.log. We don't need it. And now what I'm gonna do is I wanna add that icon inside this image. So let's do dollar sign. We can get that um, the icon class. And then we're gonna do attribute. And then attribute is gonna be the source. And that source, inside that source, is gonna be the icon, which is 
all this. All right. Cool. Let's save it. Let's see if that works. Let's reload the page. Yay. We have here, it seems like it's like thunderstorms or something really bad is going on in here, which is true. Like today is a very rainy day. So yes. Um, all right, cool. So we have the icon done. So let's do the same thing with the temperature. So let's create another variable. Let's call it temp equals to, and it's gonna be data dot, I think is um, weather dot temp. Yeah, I think that's, that's what it is. And this is gonna give us that number. So let's go back, make sure, make sure that that's true. All right. Um, no, actually it's main, so I have to fix that. So it's uh, main dot temp. So let's go back. It's not weather, it is main. All right, cool. Now we do the same thing. We're gonna go here and this is the dot the class temp. But this time we're gonna append that data, and this was gonna be temp. Let's save that and let's see what happens. That's it. Here we go. We have we have the temperature, we have the icon, the temperature, and I think we're missing our weather um, text. Like it's raining or it's not raining, it's sunny, what what it is. So let's go back and let, let's do that. Let's do it right here in the middle. That way we are like organized. So variable, we can create something called weather or weather name or I don't know, whatever you want. Equals to data dot weather. Let's go back and see where it is. So weather, and then there's the arrays. I'm gonna get the first one. And it's gonna be thunderstorm. Okay, so there's thunderstorms. So weather zero dot main. Then we're gonna go down here. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get the weather dot append, let's append the data, and it's gonna be weather. Let's save it, let's see what happens if it, if it works. Yeah, and there we go, we have the cloud. It says that we have thunderstorm and is 86. Now, I don't wanna show this 0 .49, um, 0 .49, I just wanna show 86. And there is a trick, we can do it right here on the weather. No, actually on the, on the temperature, sorry. We can do math.floor. And let's see if that helps. Oops, sorry. Is math like this. Let's go. Cool, now we have only 86. All right, so you don't have to do the math floor. Actually, there's some other options. Um, so I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna play with this. Uh, but I think that's it. Uh, we just need to kind of make it a little prettier because right now it looks very, very weird. So let's go. And let's add some CSS. So let's say um, weather container. And let's do like a, I don't know, like a gray background. Uh, let's, you know what, let's, let's align everything to the center. And we have the, the weather text, the one that sets thunderstorm right now. Let's do font size. 
um, like 22 pixels, you know, bigger. And let's remove all the margin because I know paragraph have like margin. Uh, we have a temp, like the temperature. We can do this one I wanted like pretty big. So let's do like 60 pixels. Um, same thing, margin zero. And whoops. And the font weight, I want it to be bold. All right, let's save that. I think that's that's good for now. Let's reload the page. And here it is. So you have the icon. It said that uh, we have thunderstorm and it's 86. So let's see what happens if we change like Orlando um, to like New York, for example. Let's go hit there. Let's go here. Let's say, um, you know what? Let's do something real quick right here so we can do that very easily. So let's create a variable called CD, for example. And right now is Orlando. And right now in the URL, what we can do is let's remove the name Orlando. We just close the URL there. We do plus sign cd plus sign and then we open the url again all right so now um this is coming from this variable okay so let's save it let's see if it works yep same thing so now let's change this to like new york let's go there reload the page here it is. So New York right now 75 clear. It seems like it's a beautiful day. So that's how you do it. Um, you can go very, very complex and and use another API that gets um, the user specific user locations. And then um, the city variable will change depending on the location of the person and all that stuff. Uh, it can get very complicated, but this is a very, very uh, simple way to get started and understand how public API works, not only weather, but there is a bunch of other APIs with other data that you can use in, and you can use this, you can use it just like this. Okay. So that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.